My father was a tailor and sold garments. I'm a musician and I also sell garments. <laughs> The Toronto music scene for me is defined by sort of a uh, supportiveness and a non-competitiveness. Favorite venue in Toronto? Oh my god. There was so many. Monday through Sunday, you can just go out and see live music from a little piano bar to 18 year olds just bashing out hardcore metal. The Toronto music scene here is defined by a lot of brash upstarts who just want to do something. If you stay true to yourself and don't try and force anything, it's going to happen. That's not to say all good bands make it, because some don't, which is horrible, but the ones that do deserve, nah, that's bullshit too. We're just doing cover stuff just to make extra money. Want to get a publishing deal, maybe a recording deal. We'd like to get a manager if it was possible. I think probably have to be something that they'd find worth managing. A lot of bands say they want it, and we, when we get to the point where we're making money and there's bigger decisions to be made, that's when it usually kind of crumbles. Everything was in front of me, everything could happen. Now, I'm a more mature man. I've been beaten down so much, and here I am in Toronto. Trying to play music when it was six hours a week is ridiculous. When a band is starting out, you know, you're not going to be making profit. We thought we'd have like, 80 people there. Nobody showed up. And the place had a tiny stage. The PA was terrible. If a lot of people say you're not that great, you might not be that great. It changes everything. Everything in your life. You only need one. I'm just never gonna stop playing. It's, it's, it's in my blood. I can't not play music. Be willing to starve for your art, because you will. I can remember the first time I walked out on the stage of Maple Leaf Gardens and thought, tonight this building is mine.